Hey guys and gals, it's Chris from MediaFreshPress.com. Uh, today I want to walk you through how to make a hangout on air. Uh, but we're going to do, uh, actually I believe it's called an event on air. So there's a lot of different types of hangouts and there's a lot of confusion about this, especially with the new update from Google. So, um, you know, they seem to change things every time. So. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can do a hangout. You can come over here and do a hangout um, with a you know with a group of people or just with one single person. Um, but that's not what we're going to do today. I'm going to sign out of that one because I'm going to show you what you want to do uh, in in most cases is you want to create an event where people can RSVP you know or or they can they have some kind of warning uh, that you guys are doing a hangout so that's what we're gonna do right now we're gonna walk through how to create one of those so the first thing you want to do is create an event you'll notice over here it says upcoming events and at the time this happens you know it'll be a hangout and you'll be able to watch it live but in order to be able to have an audience watch your hangout live you gotta do it just like this so you gotta create your event you'll see here it says create an event and we're just going to call this uh, a test event, right? And for now, we're not just going to invite uh, the circle, <laughs> okay? Normally, that would be your public. You know, you would invite the public to this. And basically, what you're going to do after that is, you know, this is going to be at a specified time, say in a week from now, uh, or whatever. Obviously, this is not correct, but in your case, it would be however many days or or weeks or months ahead of time, right? And after you've created your event and got it all set up the way you wanted to, at the time of the hangout, you'll go over here to Hangouts on Air, and you'll click on Start a Hangout, right? <clears throat> you'll wait for this thing to get loaded up here and once that's all done if it uh, if it ever gets there okay we're gonna name this now normally you know I don't know how everybody else does it but I like to keep mine uh, matching you know I like to keep keep them the same so there's no confusion right here where it says you know the people you're gonna invite or whatever I usually put the person I'm gonna invite so right now we're just gonna uh, see if I can invite this guy here which is an empty account so we're gonna go ahead and start this hangout on air right now that this is started right now we'd just be waiting for a body I'm gonna go ahead and mute this <laughs> uh, right now we're waiting on the guy that we invited right the uh, the other person so sometimes I have a problem with that it doesn't seem to go through or, or for whatever reason so you'll notice right here you've got to invite people right so you'll go here and just in case if you're talking to them they say hey you know I didn't get I didn't get the invite you can invite them again right from inside the hangout and you'll just enter them right in there just like you did before you started and you'll click submit and now now you know for sure that hangout got sent and what we're doing right now is waiting for this and that you'll see that now we're ready to start broadcast right so once you do that it's all said and done okay <laughs> it's gonna count down and I'll go ahead and walk you all the way through it so that you guys see okay so it's counting down right and usually I count uh, to the person that's in the hangout with me let them know and then one you'll see it says that you're broadcasting now but usually it even takes um, another few seconds after this point okay so what you need now to be able to let everybody know or to let everybody watch this live hangout is you'll need this embed URL now there's two of them you got the YouTube and the HTML now to be honest with you I I've never used this HTML um, I believe you could probably embed this on your WordPress site or something like that but but please don't quote me on that I'm not 100% sure but what I do is I grab this YouTube URL here right I uh, click control C so I've copied that and now I'll go back over here and I'll go to my events 
and let's see how do I find my events there it is okay so go to your event and you'll see here that it's got your details and all this good stuff you want to edit the event right click edit event uh, event options and then you'll click advanced show more options and then right here you'll see your YouTube URL control V and paste that thing in and then you click save I'm not gonna click it because I, you know I'm fixing to go through and delete all that but that's it that's all you gotta do put that YouTube URL in there click save and you are broadcasting uh, live to an audience um, so basically that's it guys I know that's pretty complicated pretty complicated um, but that's the way you do it now if if for some reason uh, I didn't make this very clear I, I know it's easy to get distracted I had to, to to research this a lot like I had to do this two or three times to get it down so if you have any questions just you know feel free to let me know leave them below um, I'm going to put this video on YouTube, so leave them below in the comments on YouTube. Uh, you guys can find me on Google Plus for sure. Um, so just any questions, be, be sure to let me know, and I'll walk you through it. Um, all right, guys, have a good one. Thanks.